there weren't any studios. You did the shows inside of the workspace. When we look back through the history, you know, this is groundbreaking musical journalism that we've never really seen before or after or since. So sometimes you got to put up your money and, um, and make it happen. It does surprise me. Um, I had no idea the fascination with much is still there after all these years. And um, when I first found out there was going to be this documentary on much, I thought, okay, that's good. All right. Um, what's the take on it? I don't know. I haven't seen the film, but I love the fact that people are reminded of a time and it's nostalgic and there's nothing wrong with that. People are going to relive a moment, hopefully, that brings them back to a beautiful place in their life. And we're dealing with that. Looking back, it's a little bit foggy, but it still feels really... Um, it, it, it's, a, it's a revival of what my youth was like. It's basically, we're the kids in the trunk of the car getting into the drive-in. That's how it kind of felt. You know, we kind of knew where we were going, but we were kind of sneaking other things into it as well at the same time. I, I'm surprised. This is uh, this is this is surreal. It's something else. I didn't expect it to be like this. Um, but in the back of my mind, I sort of was hoping for something like this because much music as we know it hasn't been much music from what we remember from all those years ago. Me anyway, leaving in 2005. So to see this turn out for something that people really loved, it's a, it's a special, special night. It really is. It doesn't ever go away, that spirit of much music. I walked down from my home and I passed the corner of a Queen and John. And there were some like wayward young people loitering around, pressed up against the, uh, the side of the building, taking photos of each other. And I couldn't help but feel like, you know, on the ground, the city absorbs the energy, and there, even though it's that corner is very different now, it's much more corporate. It's very much the antithesis of, you know, live rock and roll, unscripted television. There still resides a little bit of energy. You could never be so far removed from the audience because they were right there looking at. You.